New friend. Okay, first things first. Pick the clothes you're going to wear. Which color would you like them to be? Perfect. Now it's time to choose the animal you're going to be. Lovely. And what color is it? Do you want to wear a pair of gloves? And how about a hat? Very well done. Welcome. It's very nice to meet you. I hope you're ready to have lots of fun. But let's start from the beginning. Can you move around a bit? You can walk around the area in any direction you want. Splendid! You got it very fast. Why don't we keep going this way? A muddy puddle! Everybody loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. How about you? Do you want to jump up and down too? I'll show you how. It's very easy. Just walk to the muddy puddle and jump in it when the icon appears. Great job! That was fun, wasn't it? If you see this icon again, follow its guide. Who knows what new fun things you will find? Where were we? Ah yes, family. Your family, of course. It's about time we meet them, don't you think? Why don't you start by telling me about your parent? What do you think? Is this your parent or should... Let's get the first thing out of the way. What should your... Good choice. What color... Great. Now, of course, of course. And their color? Some people have small families. As small as two people. No family is better than the other. They're just different. What about yours? Is it a large family? You can add more family members by using the plus sign. Or you can start the game with the family you see now. Just go to the check sign and use it to confirm your family. family is all here, let's have some fun together. How about a game of football? To play, just walk to the ball and kick it when you see the icon. Come on then, try and score a goal. Yahoo! What a shot! Good job! Why don't you try again? Well done! Oh! Okay, okay. You win. Welcome, welcome. I'm Mr. Bull, and this is Mr. Rhinoceros. We are here to build your new house. Oh, I thought the house was already built. 
Oh, no, no. <laughs> we were waiting for you. But don't worry, it will be done in a jiffy. And this way, we can build a house together, just as you want it. Hooray! Ho, ho, ho! I see someone is excited. But I don't know a thing about building houses. I don't know a thing about building houses either. Oh, it's very easy. I will show you. Let's start with the wall. You can choose the one you like the most. They're all good, solid wall. Now, let's move on to roofs. Nice choice. How about the door? Terrific. Now, let's choose the windows. Almost done. How about a little decoration? Maybe a swing? A tree? Whatever you fancy. That's a great house. Should we finish it? Finished. It turned out very well, if I do say so myself. It did. I can't wait to see how it looks inside. Ho ho ho! We will leave you to it then. Goodbye, you neighbours! Goodbye, Goodbye, Mr. Bull! Bull. Goodbye, Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros! In we go then. Yes, this is very exciting. I like it. It's very nice indeed. What do you think? I want to see my room! Oh, oh in a minute! I think we will be happy here. Who could it be? We just moved in. Well, let's go out and find out. I wonder who might be at the door. Could it be our neighbours? You must be the new neighbours. We thought we'd come by and welcome you to the neighbourhood. Welcome! Welcome! I'm Peppa Pig. This is Daddy Pig. This is Mummy Pig. And this is my little brother, George. <laughs> thank you for the welcome. Yes, thank you. I know you just arrived. Well, yes, we just moved in. We haven't even had the chance to see the whole house from the inside. You can do that later. We need to go to playgroup now. Peppa, I'm sure the new neighbours are very tired. They can go tomorrow. But today is International Day. They have to go. International Day? What's this about? It's the best day ever. Madame Gazelle will teach us about the whole world. Oh, sounds interesting. What do you think? Do you want to go with Peppa to the playgroup? All right then. Why don't you go with her for a while while we finish setting things up in the house? The playgroup is this way. Follow me. We just have to cross this field to get to playgroup. We can bike there. Do you know how to ride a bike? 
use the bike, just get close to it and hop on when you see the icon. Great job! Now you can go faster and even ring your bell. You can get on and off the bike whenever you want. Look out for things to play with. Ooh, it's very nice. You can leave the kite on the floor if you want to stop playing with it. What a friend! Yes, Madame Gazelle. This is my new neighbor. Hello, Papa. Hello, Hello neighbor. neighbor. Come on, take a seat. We were just about to start. Do you know what day it is today? International Day! Splendid! Today, we will learn everything about the countries of the world. All of them? Well, um, some of them. Which ones? Well, there's America, where they have very tall buildings and they make a lot of films. Ooh! There's France. People really like croissants there. Croissants are the best. In Germany, it can get very cold. But they drink hot chocolate to warm themselves. I love hot chocolate. Me too. Italy is warm and beautiful. And let's not forget Barcelona with its sunny beaches. I've never been to the beach. I have. It's very nice. Oh. You know where else they have great beaches? Australia. People there like to surf a lot. I want to go to all of these places. I want to go to New York, Hollywood, London, Paris, Barcelona, Italy, Germany, and Australia. Well, you're in luck. You can go to all of these places with the cruise ship that has just arrived in town. I'm sure your parents will take you there if you ask. Hooray! This is the best international day ever! Hooray! Let's go! <laughs> okay. You're back. How did it go? We want to go on the cruise ship. The cruise ship? Yes. It can take us to America and to Italy and to Germany. I'm not sure, Pepper. We don't have tickets. And our new friends are just getting settled into their new house. What's this about a cruise ship? Ahoy! Who could it be? Is this the new neighbour's house? Well, yes. And who might you be? I'm Captain Otter of the cruise ship. 
Hello. Hello, Hello Captain, Captain Otter. Otter. Quite the big family you have here. Anyway, I have come to invite you all on board the cruise ship. To invite us? Precisely. As the newest residents, you are invited to come with us on any trips you want. Hooray! But we're still unpacking and getting used to the house. And actually, we're not new. Well, I could go on a trip. Daddy Pig. The offer extends to everyone in this house. If you want to go on a trip, just take the car and come to the harbour. I will take you wherever you want to go. I'll meet you on board the ship. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 So, what do you think? I think we should go on a trip. We appreciate the offer, but we really can't go right now. But maybe... Would you like to go? Yes. All right, then. You can go to the cruise ship with Pepper and her family. Hooray! Captain Otter has invited you all to the cruise ship. Mummy and Daddy Pig will take you there in their car. A lot of exciting adventures await you. Hello. I'm happy to see you two around here. Do you want to try flying my toy aeroplane? Yes, please. Here, take the controller. Grandpa's toy aeroplane is very easy to control. You can move it up and down and make it go faster. Hello. It's always nice to see you. <laughs> it's smelly. Don't open it. Come and sit at the chair if you want to help with the pie. Who's here? Are you two having fun? Yes, Mummy! What are you doing? I'm making raspberry pie. Yummy! Do you want to help? Great! I need someone to squish all these raspberries. Do you think you can do that? Mummy Pig needs your help to squish the raspberries for her raspberry pie. Try squishing them as fast as you can. Excellent. Now let's finish the pie. Ready? Who would like a piece? Me, me, me! Enjoy! Ha <laughs> ha 
Are we going on a trip soon? Are we going on the cruise ship? Yes, Peppa. We're going on an adventure. I love adventures. Is it going to be scary? Not at all. It's going to be lots of fun. Hooray! But where are we going? I say we go to Paris, the most beautiful city. Oh, but I wanted to go to the beach in Australia. And I want to go to America. Hmm, I have an idea. Why don't we let our new neighbours decide? Great idea, Mummy Pig. Let's go to the port for now, and you can tell Captain Otter where you want to go. The harbour! The ship! The ship! I see the ship! Ahoy there! And there's Captain Otter! I see you've decided to come on a trip after all. And you've brought your friend. We're going to go on a trip all around the world. You're in luck, because my ship can take you anywhere you want to go. Can it take us into space? Um, no. Anywhere except space. Well, actually, anywhere on this board. Oh, how exciting. There are lots of different places to visit. Ooh, I can't choose. They all look so great. Where would you like to go first? When you're ready, go to the board and choose the place you'd like to visit first. Italy! Here we are at our holiday house in Italy. Ciao! Welcome to Italy. I am Uncle Goat, and this is my niece, Gabriella. Hello, Gabriella. Hello, Peppa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I need to go back to work at my cafe in the village piazza. Why don't you all come for lunch? Pizza in the piazza. Sounds delicious. <coughs> and you can stop by Auntie Goat's souvenir shop on the way. Oh, yes! There are so many wonderful things there. That sounds delightful. Fantastic. See you later, then. Mummy, can I call Granny and Grandpa later? I want to check that Goldie is OK. Of course, Peppa. You can use the phone inside the house. We can also go for a swim in the pool. Well, when you're ready to go to the village, let's go this way. Hello? Hello, Granny! Hello, Peppa. How is Italy? I love it! Did you know they make the best pizza in the world here? Oh, I love pizza. I'm eating some right now. <laughs> Talking of food, we've been feeding Goldie at least five times a day. Five times? Naughty Granny! That's too much. Is it? But it says here on your instructions to feed her five times a day. No, no! Oh, wait. Three times? Oh, silly me. I haven't got my glasses on. Two times a day. Yes! Whoops-a-daisy. Well, anyway, enjoy your holiday and see you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs> Come this 
away when you're ready to visit the town. Here we are in the village. Isn't it wonderful? Wowee. It's just like in the brochure. Follow me, everyone. This way to the piazza. This is my auntie souvenir shop. You can get something here to take home. Ciao, Gabriella. Who are your friends? This is Peppa, her family, and her friend. I'm showing them around the town. Oh, hello. Are you enjoying your time in Italy? Yes, yes! yes! Uh, you must take a souvenir home with you to remember the holiday. Yes, you must! There's a lot to choose from. Just pick one, though. You can take a garden gnome or a ceramic plate, for example. Which one would you like? Walk up to the souvenir you want and take it. Here we are. We have arrived at the piazza. What a beautiful town square. But I can't see Uncle Goat. He's over there. That's my uncle's cafe. We can get some delicious pizza for lunch. Yummy! And if you want to send a postcard, there's a post box too. Walk over to Auntie Goat's souvenir shop to get a postcard. don't you? Yes, please! Let me have a look and see what I can find. Aha! There's one. This is a pretty one. Here you are. One postcard. Hooray! Why don't you take it to Mummy Pig and she can help you write it. Okay! Go and find Mummy Pig so she can help write the postcard for Granny and Grandpa Pig. you like to write on your postcard, Peppa? Dear Goldie, hello from Italy. Love from Peppa. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. Let's put the postcard in the post box. We're almost done. Let's go back to the post box. Hooray! We did it! Ha ha ha!
Why don't we say hello to Uncle Goat in the pizzeria? Ah, I'm glad you are here. You can help me finish this pizza. I'm really hungry. The pizza base is ready. Now we need to add some toppings. I think we should put oregano, olives, tomato slices, and cheese. But the order is very important. Perhaps you could help me with that. Which ingredients should go first? Get in front of the topping you want and tell Uncle Goat to add it to the pizza. A handful of olives. A few slices of tomato. A little bit of oregano. A little bit of cheese. Perfect. Now we need to put the pizza in the oven. Easy does it. We have to be careful so the pizza does not fall onto the floor. There we are. Now into the oven. Do you want to help me one more time? Uncle Goat needs your help to finish cooking the pizza. Put it in the oven, hold to watch it, and then release when you think it's ready. Here you are! You finished the pizza! Yummy! Why don't you take it over to the table and have it for lunch? Okay! Okay! Buon appetito! Let's bring the pizza to the table where Mummy and Daddy are! Mmm! I've been looking forward to this pizza all day! Me too! Dig in everyone! So, what do you think? Wow! It's the best pizza I've ever eaten. I couldn't have made it any better myself. Fantastico! I am so glad! Well, it's getting late. We need to get back to the cruise ship. So soon? Well, that is a shame. It's been so fun having you here. And I hope you enjoyed the pizza. Oh, we did. It was absolutely scrum diddly umptious. What's a scrum doodly dumptious? <laughs> I think they mean it was a very tasty. Well, of course. Italians make the best pizza in the whole world. All right. Let's say our goodbyes and be on our way. Bye bye. Goodbye, everyone. But as we say in Italy, Arrivederci. Arriva Dolce. Wait, no. Um, Arriva Dici. No, that's not right. Let's just stick with goodbye. <laughs> well done. Thanks for your help, everyone enjoyed the delicious Italian pizza. And now that it's time to go home, why don't you check on Pepper's Goldfish? London is our capital city. If you visit London, you might just see the Queen. London, a wonderful capital city. What's that big building? That, Pepper, is Buckingham Palace. It's where the Queen lives. The Queen? I want to meet the Queen. Well, she might be quite busy being the Queen. But I suppose we could always ring the doorbell and see. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Where's the doorbell? There it is. Shall we give it a ring? 
Go over to the doorbell to see if the Queen is at home. Hello. Is that my pizza delivery? Just slide it through the gate and the corgis will pick it up. The Queen thinks the pig family are there to deliver a pizza. Um, no. We're the pig family. Mr and Mrs Pig, Papa Pig and George. The pig family? How wonderful. Well, you simply must come inside and say hello. We'd like that very much. Let's go! <laughs> Hello everyone. What a pleasure it is to meet you. You are all most welcome here in my humble palace. Oh, the pleasure is all ours, your royal highness. You have a wonderful home. Thank you, Mr. Pig. It's a wonderful home in a wonderful city. Here, why don't I show you around? Yes, yes! yes! Marvellous. Well, when you're ready, we'll go outside and go on a grand tour of London. Tally-ho! This way to the Tour of London. We'll go on my bus. That bus has an upstairs and a downstairs. All aboard! Why don't you go upstairs so you can get the best views? Yes, Mum. Are we all ready up there? Yes! Then let's go! First stop on our tour of London, Big Ben. Hurrah! <laughs> Here we are. We have arrived at Big Ben. I can't see anyone called Ben. <laughs> Big Ben is up there. Yes, Big Ben is a big tower. Actually, it's not. Big Ben is the name of the bell that lives inside the tower. Oh, yes. That's what I meant. Big Ben is ringing. Let's answer him by ringing our own bell. Each time Big Ben rings, the Queen can ring back. Well done. You did a very good job ringing the bell. Where are we off to next, Your Majesty? We're going to Tower Bridge. This is Tower Bridge. Can we drive over it? Yes, but we need to wait for the ships to pass through first. I think that ship's a bit too tall to pass under the bridge. It certainly is. We need to lift up the bridge so that the ship can pass. Can any of you up there help us? Me, me, me! To lift the bridge takes a little while. Keep going until it reaches the top. Well done. It's going up and up. Where's this Huzzah! You lifted the bridge all the way to the top. Now the ship can pass through. Your Majesty, there's another ship on the way. Oh, so there is. Well, we really must be getting on with the tour, I'm afraid. We can't sit around waiting for ships all day. Hmm, we are stuck. I know. Everyone move to the front of the bus. Move towards the front of the bus to help it onto the other side of the bridge. Hooray! Well done, everyone. We did it. Do you always cross bridges like that? Most of the time, yes. 
Now we can continue with the tour. Off to Trafalgar Square. Here we are. The last stop on our tour. Trafalgar Square. Look! Look! Puddles! There are lots of puddles in Trafalgar Square because it rained very recently. Can we jump in the puddles? I'll have to ask the Queen. Can we go and jump in the puddles, Your Majesty? Of course. Whenever it rains, I always go straight down to Trafalgar Square to jump in the puddles. Come on, jump in the puddles with me. Jumping in puddles. We all are. That's the spirit. Everybody jump. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> <laughs> what a jolly good time everyone is having jumping in puddles. Well done for completing our whistle stop tour around London. This is Paris, where you can paint beautiful pictures and eat yummy ice cream. everyone and welcome to Paris. There is so much to see and do here. What a beautiful city. Thank you Mr. Pig. We are very proud of it. What would you like to do? We could go to the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Or we could eat a delicious ice cream. We can even do a painting. These all sound like so much fun. They are, they are. Let's do all of them at the same time. Oh, that's impossible, Pepper. I'm afraid we'll have to do them one by one. Okay. So, what shall we do first? Which activity would you like to do? Go to the top of the Eiffel Tower, eat an ice cream, or do a painting? Why don't you make a beautiful painting? Yes. You will need a paintbrush and some paint. Here. <laughs> now you are a true artist. Good luck. Use and hold the brush to add paint to the canvas. Keep doing it until the painting is complete. Let's 
add a bit more paint. Almost there. Just a little bit more. Congratulations! You made a beautiful painting. Yay! It looks lovely! You are a natural artist. Ice cream? Who wants some ice cream? some ice cream. Hello, would you like a special ice cream? Yes, please. Of course you would. This is some of the best ice cream in Paris, if I do say so myself. Here you are. Bon appétit. Come back if you would like another scoop. But I'm afraid you can only have three. Lick the ice cream many times to eat all the ice cream. Here goes another scoop. Isn't Parisian ice cream delicious? I'm afraid you've already had three scoops. should I get? Look at all these beautiful souvenirs. Bonjour. Welcome to my souvenir shop. Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a souvenir shop in Paris. Miss Rabbit? Who is this Miss Rabbit? I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. Now what can I get for you? We have so much to choose from. Well, Mademoiselle Lepin, I would like to buy one of these miniature Eiffel Towers. Of course. These are very popular. There you are. One miniature Eiffel Tower. Thank you very much. Oh, I mean, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Are we going all the way to the top? Of course! Up, up, up to the top! You can see everything in Paris from the top! Let's all get into the elevator! This way, Peppa! Are you sure this is safe? Very safe! You have nothing to worry about! Are we all ready? Ready, ready! <coughs> then let's go up, up, up! Can you help us reach the top of the Eiffel Tower in the elevator? Yes! Hold the button to make the elevator go up. Keep doing it until you reach the top. Up and up we go! Are we at the top? Not yet, Peppa! We still need to climb these stairs. My, my. This is very high indeed. Perhaps I don't need to see everything in Paris after all. You can do it, Mr. Pig. Yes, you can do it, Daddy. Not long to go now. Just remember to take deep breaths. And try not to look down. Yeah, oh, oh, I can't look. Here we are. We are at the top of the Eiffel Tower. We made it! Well done, everyone. Especially you, Mr. Peak. Wow. We really can see a lot from here. Isn't it amazing? From here, we can see the Arc de Triomphe and the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Why don't you see if you can spot them? Move around to see different views of Paris and try to find these famous landmarks. 
Can you see the Arc de Triomphe? Is that the thing that looks like the letter N? Yes, that's it. That's the Arc de Triomphe. Have a walk around to see what you can find. Can you see the Cathedral of Notre Dame? It has two big towers. That building has two big towers. I see it. I see it. Well done. The window looks like a flower. You're right. It does. And that, of course, is... The Eiffel Tower! Correct! It's one of the most famous landmarks in the whole world. This was so much fun! Yes, it was. Fun and slightly terrifying. You're very brave, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Delphine. Where will you go next on your trip? Perhaps somewhere a bit closer to the ground. What a marvellous idea! Well, I'm so glad you've had a nice time in our wonderful city. You must come back again soon. Yes, you must. How do you say goodbye in French? We say au revoir. Au revoir. <coughs> <coughs> au revoir, Papa. Au revoir, Mr. and Mrs. Pig. Au revoir. Au revoir, indeed. Now, who wants to play... Who can get down the quickest? <laughs> Congratulations on your visit to Paris. You helped everyone go up the Eiffel Tower. The views from the top were amazing. Australia is very far away and very hot. You can go here to visit the Great Barrier Reef. Let's pay a visit to the kangaroo family. Mr. Pig, what a surprise! Kylie, look who's come to visit! Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! Hello, Kylie! We were just passing by and thought we'd come and say hello. Ace, well, why don't we show you around some of our favourite places? Yes, yes! We could drive the minivan to the beach and visit the Great Barrier Reef. Or we could fly the plane to the outback for a very special picnic. There's so much to see in Australia. Which one would you like to do? Alrighty then, we'll take the plane to the outback for a picnic. All aboard! Everybody ready? Yes! yes. Then let's go! It's time to fly. You can go up and down or make the plane go faster. Down there. We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. Although the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to start preparing the barbecue for our lunch. 
Why don't you have a play in the outback? We can practice throwing my boomerang. Or we can play a spot of cricket. And keep your eyes peeled for koala bears. What would you like to do? This is my boomerang. It comes back when you throw it. Give it a go. Hold the boomerang for a moment, then throw it. The longer you hold it, the further it will go. Let's try playing cricket! Play some cricket. Here, you take the bat and I'll throw the ball. Good luck. Lift up the bat, then swing it when you're ready to hit the ball. See the ball, Peppa. A teddy bear has got it. That's not a teddy bear. It's a koala bear. Hooray! We found one. Squeak! Radio, everyone. Lunch is ready. Corn on the cob. Mmm, what a yummy, scrummy picnic. When we have a picnic, Mrs. Duck always comes. <laughs> There's no chance of Mrs. Duck showing up in the middle of the desert. Mrs. Duckbilled Platypus always shows up when we're having picnics. Corn on the cob for everyone. That was delicious. Mrs. Duckbilled Platypus thinks so too. Okay, everyone. It's home time. Back on the plane. Home sweet home. What a fantastic trip to the outback. I love the outback. Um, what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, into the minivan. We're going to see something amazing at the beach. Hooray! The beach is just up ahead. Drive the minivan to move forward. Because it's under the water. There's incredible wildlife on the seabed, and it's my job to take care of it. When you're ready, 
Hop inside the submarine and we'll explore the ocean. Hop in. Down we go. Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow. That's called the Great Barrier Reef. It's made up of coral that goes for miles and miles. It's up to me to keep it safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. The submarine can move in any direction you want. Why don't you try driving it? If you find something interesting, you can pick it up with the grabbing claws. Gold coins. Let's see if we can pick it up with the claws. But you said we shouldn't touch anything. We meant you mustn't touch anything that belongs here. But gold coins don't belong in the ocean. And we can use them to pay for lots more marine research. We got the treasure! Hooray! Now, let's get it back to the minivan. Wow! I love going underwater in the submarine! And we learnt so much about the importance of keeping coral safe. I'm glad you all had fun. My, my, is that the time? I'm afraid we need to carry on with our trip. Ah, oh, so soon? I'm afraid so. Lots to see. But thank you so much for showing us around. I had a brilliant time. Come back soon. Mummy, can we have a great berry roof in our garden? Oh, I don't think so, Peppa. We don't have our own submarine. <laughs> Good job. You've learned many things about Australia and found a lost treasure. It's been lots of fun. In Barcelona, you can play football on the beach by the sea. Here we are in Barcelona. Oh, look. It's Senor Cat and Carla Cat. Hello, Carla. Hola, Pepa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the incredible city of Barcelona. It's really beautiful. We can't wait to have a good explore. But why don't we show you around? There is so much to do and see. We can play football on the beach. And go skateboarding there. Sounds so exciting! It is! But first, let's explore where we are now. Les Rambles. Why don't you get some flowers or a windmill from the market stalls? Okay! Let's go! <laughs> wait! Wait! Are you sure you want to leave? Why don't you try blowing a windmill and see if it spins? You can blow the windmill. The more you hold, the more you blow, the faster it will go. Wow! That's super spinny! Excelente! You blew the windmill very well. Come here to try again whenever you want. Okay. 
you can find different types of flowers along the street. Get in front of a stall and take a flower to add it to the bouquet. flowers and such beautiful colours. Thank you. You're welcome. Colourful light is created by special windows called stained glass windows. Can we play I Spy? I'll say the shapes and you have to find them. OK. I spy with my little eye. Oh, well. Yes! Uh, that's not the right shape. With my little eye, a green square. Hooray! You found all the shapes. <laughs> Why don't we go to the beach? I think it's this way. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to try skateboarding? That was so amazing! I love skateboarding. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. Why don't you have a go? Let's skateboard. You can change the direction and gain speed as you move. Get off the skateboard at any time if you need to. You can go faster on the skateboard or get off if you want to continue walking. Now, one of the most fun activities you can do on the beach in Barcelona is... Play football! Mummy, Daddy, can we play football? Ho oh, ho! Just you try and stop me. I used to be a champion goalkeeper when I was a little piggy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. <coughs> <laughs> I think George wants to play too. Hooray! It's me, you and George against Daddy. Let's play some football. See if you can score against Daddy Pig. Run to the ball and shoot at the goal. Go for it! 
for the goal. Goal! You did it! You scored a goal! Congratulations! Now let's try and score another. for the goal. Whoopsie. <gasps> goal! Well played. You're a natural. <laughs> Maybe one day you could be a pro. Ho, ho, ho. That was a lot of fun. But I think it's time for us to head off. Oh! Yes, we've got lots more places to see on our worldwide adventure. Well, thank you so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed our wonderful city. I loved Barcelona! And we loved showing you around. You must come back and visit whenever you want. Thank you, Senor Cat. We will. And maybe then... I'll have learned how to skateboard too. <laughs> Congratulations! You've played a great game of football. Everybody had a great time in the beautiful city of Barcelona. Germany has some wonderful Christmas markets, all nestled in crisp white snow. Hi everyone! Welcome to Germany! My name is Clemens Cow. And this is my mummy. Hello, sir! I'm Frau Cow. Hello! I'm Peggy Pig! This is my family! And my new friend! We can show you around our town if you want! Of course, thank you. This place looks beautiful. This is the Christmas market. There are plenty of things to do here. We have a huge Christmas tree in the middle. You have to go see it. It's a little chilly though. Is there somewhere we can warm up a bit? Sure. You can come to my stall if you want to drink some hot chocolate. There's also a train that goes to the theme park. You just need to keep walking this way. Ooh, a theme park! Can we go, please? Ho ho ho! Of course, Pepper. But why don't you try that hot chocolate first? Pepper wants to decorate the tree. Take a look at the market stalls to find Christmas decorations.
chocolate to warm you up. Mm. Yummy! How do you make it? You take the jugs with milk and chocolate and pour all of it into the pot. Why don't you try it yourself? It's time to prepare hot chocolate. Take a jug and keep pouring what's in it into the pot until it's empty. to the theme park. Let's jump on. We need to stop for the kids who are waiting to get on the train. Would you like to help pick them up? Okay. It's time to go to the theme park. Make the train move forward on its rails. Help the engineer by stopping when you see passengers waiting to get on. Done. Good job. Come back to take the train anytime you want. The theme park is this way. Follow me. Be careful. Sliding, you can try going faster. if you want to ride again. Okay! <gasps> Look! 
I think some toys have escaped from the stall. Are you sure? That's impossible! There! There! Oh, you're right. We have to find them. They can't have gone very far. Toys have escaped. Take a look around the theme park and bring them back to the store. What are all these toys doing here? Where are you, little toys? For the help, I knew I could count on you. Don't get lost again, toys. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a bit late. We can't stay any longer, or it will get too cold. We've had so much fun. <laughs> you have to come back and visit us again. We will. It's been a pleasure having you here today. I want to ride the train every day to go to play group. But Peppa, trains need tracks to run on. Then I will invent a magical train. That doesn't need tracks. But we already have our car. It does exactly that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> And the missing toys. Now it's time to go back home and warm up. This is New York, where you can see tall buildings as high as the clouds. New York! Hello, and welcome to New York. Um... Are you Miss Rabbit? Sure. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. Is that right? Oh. -ho. I can give you a tour around the city if you want. That sounds lovely. Thank you. Hop in when you're ready. Miss Rabbit will be the tour guide for the trip. But first, grab your suitcase and take it to the car. Is everyone ready? Yes, we are, Miss Rabbit. And let's go. Next stop, the New York skyscraper. New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, I do, but only at night. How long will it take us to arrive? This street is very busy. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find our way through. But how are we going to do that? We can take other lanes with fewer cars. We'll be there in no time. You'll see. Could you take a look and show me the way? Miss Rabbit needs your help to get through the traffic. You can control the car to change to a different lane.
got here much quicker than I expected. This is the famous New York skyscraper. Ooh! I have never seen a building this tall. Can we go to the top? For sure. Let's get inside and take the elevator. Let's go up to the top floor. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? Only the important ones. Now, let's get to the very top of the building. Would you like to help me out one more time? Okay. Use the button at the side of the elevator to go up. You can hold it or push it lots of times, as fast as you can. have reached the top of the building. You can see the whole city from here. Ooh! We are so high in the sky! Yeah, oh, oh, I can't look. But there's so much to see, Daddy. And with this telescope, you can see even more. The views from the top of the New York skyscraper are fantastic. Walk up to the telescope and use it to take a look. Everything looks bigger through the telescope. Try moving it around and see what you can find. Look! We found a forest in the middle of the city. Actually, that's Central Park. There's a very old castle in it too. Can you see it? That is the Brooklyn Bridge. It used to be the longest bridge in the world. Look! A big green lady with an ice cream! Well, that's the Statue of Liberty. It's the most famous landmark in the city. I love New York! Where are we going next? I'm afraid we don't have time for more, Pepper. Captain Otter is waiting for us at the ship. Oh. Can I come back soon, please? Of course, Pepper. But there are lots of other countries to visit. This was a very nice tour. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'd be happy to show you around any time you come back. This city has lots of interesting places. Dinosaur! <sighs> I don't think there are any dinosaurs, though. <laughs> Well done. You helped everyone get around the city of New York. It's been a great adventure. Bye, everyone. Peppa! How was your trip, Peppa? It was amazing. We went all around the world. Well, I would love to hear all about it. Children, would you like to hear about Peppa's trip around the world? Yes! Marvelous! Over to you, Peppa. I went to all these amazing places. Did you go to America? Yes, I went to New York City. Ooh! We went to the top of a huge skyscraper. It was very, very tall. And what about Australia? Yes, Mandy. We went underwater in a submarine. We saw lots of fish, but we weren't allowed to touch them. Cool. And did you go to Spain? Yes. We went to Barcelona. We played football on the beach. You will have to teach us all your football skills. And what about Germany? I really like Germany. It was very snowy. 
and we had cups of hot chocolate from the Christmas market. Mmm, sounds yummy. It was, but not as yummy as the pizza we had in Italy. You went to Italy as well? Yes, we learned how to make pizzas with Uncle Goat. Did you go to France, Peppa? Yes, Susie. We went to Paris. There were lots of colourful paintings and some yummy scrummy ice cream. Wow! Where else did you go? We also went to London to see the Queen. The Queen? My, my! She taught us about Tower Bridge. What's Tower Bridge? It's a big bridge with towers on it. Well, I hope you didn't jump in any muddy puddles near the Queen. Oh yes, the Queen loves jumping in muddy puddles, even more than me. <laughs> <laughs> with a skipping rope. Skippity skip, jumpity jump. Would you like a go? OK. There's another rope just here. Have fun. It's time to jump. Keep jumping over and over to skip even faster. Well done. Keep going. You're great at skipping. Well done. Keep going. You're great at skipping. my favourite instrument. Would you like a go? Yes, yes! Wonderful! There's another recorder on the table. You can use that. See if you can play a tune. Try playing some notes. Keep going and you will play a tune. Can you guess what the tune is? A scribble scribble here and a scribble scribble there. Oh, hello Peppa. Hello Pedro. What are you drawing? I'm drawing a balloon. I hope it doesn't float away. <laughs> Would you like to do a drawing? OK. Hooray! There's lots of paper and crayons for you to use. You can draw a nice colourful picture. Use and hold the crayon to colour a section of the drawing. Once you've finished a section, go for the next one. Keep going until the drawing is finished. doing a great job. Keep going. You're an artist like me. Bang, bang, crash! Bang, bang, crash! Hello, Molly! That's very bangy and crashy. Sorry, Peppa. I couldn't hear you. I said... 
but it's very bangy and crashy. Oh, yes. The drums are very loud. <coughs> but they're so much fun. Would you like to have a go? Yes, yes! Hooray! There's another drum kit here. See if you can drum like me. Let's play the drums and make some noise. You can hit the big drum, the small drum and the cymbal. Ready? Mandy Mouse is going to throw you the ball. Throw it back to her after you catch it. Great catch! Now throw me the ball. What a good throw! You're good at basketball! I'm happy you're back. You must be really tired after the trip. Why don't you two stay for something to eat? I just finished making lunch. I hope you're hungry. I'm really hungry. Mmm, the carrots are so good. Everything is very tasty. Thank you, Pepper. I wasn't expecting a visitor. Who could it be? Captain Otter! Ahoy, Pepper! Ahoy, family! Hello, Captain Otter. Can we help you with anything? Actually, I might be able to help you. You see, your child and Pepper have visited lots of places now, and we have a very special reward for them and for you. Hooray! What is it? What is it? You have been invited to go to Hollywood and star in your own movie. Our own movie? Indeed. The cruise ship will take you there, of course. Come down to the harbour whenever you're ready. We'll have you in front of the camera in no time. Are we going to be stars? It sure seems so. I've always wanted to be in a movie. Thank you, Captain Otter. That's a very generous invitation. Oh, it's no bother. I'll be waiting for you all at the harbour. 
I better be going now. See you soon. See, See you, you soon, soon Captain, Captain Otter. Otter. Captain Otter has invited you to go to Hollywood and make your own movie. It's going to be loads of fun. When you're ready, take the car at Pepper's house to get to the harbour. We're going to Hollywood. Well, actually, maybe it's that way. It doesn't matter. Captain Otter knows. That's right, Pepper. <laughs> 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 Hollywood. A lot of movies are made here, so you might spot some movie stars. Hollywood! We've arrived at Hollywood Boulevard. Can you see the stars, Pepper? But it's daytime! These stars aren't in the sky, they're on the ground. There they are! I see them! Why are there stars on the floor? They're for the movie stars. Cool! Are we going to be movie stars? Oh, well, we do have tickets to star in Super Potato's new movie, so we just might be. I've always loved Super Potato. He's my idol. So, let's have a look at these stars. And then we'll have to make our way to the film studio. We don't want to be late. Wait! Wait! Are you sure you want to leave? Look, it's Super Potato Star. Did someone say Super Potato? Super Potato! It is I, the superest potato in all the land. It's a real honor to meet you. A super duper honor. I see you found my star. We're so excited to be here in Hollywood. Like a picture with me? Yes, yes! All right, gather round, everybody. You heard the potato. Sorry, I mean super potato. Everyone say potato! 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 I'm afraid I must go. I've got movies to make. Super potato away! Let's look at the stars. Look here. It's Hash Brown's star. The most handsome tater in town. It's Hash Brown. Pretty cool star, huh? It's very shiny and glittery. Just like my smile. Can we have a photo with Hash Brown? Well, of course you can. Everyone gather round. Squeeze in, everybody. Okay, say Hash Brown. Hash, hash brown! brown! Thank you, Hash Brown. No problem. I've always got time for my fans. Yikes! No, I don't! I've got to be at the movie studio in ten minutes. See ya! Super Potato and Hash Brown are posing for some photos. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. And I'm Hash Brown. Uh, make sure you get my best side. <laughs> Hello, Super Potato. It's a real honor. Oh, hello. Are you here to take photos too? No. Well, I do have a camera, but we're not photographers. We're movie stars like you. Yes, we are. Well, we're almost movie stars. We won a ticket to star in your new movie, Vegetables in Space. Vegetables in Space? I love that movie. I mean, 
It is my movie, after all. Can we come in? Of course. We can go inside whenever you're ready. We've got a movie to make. How exciting. This is the movie studio. Do you know what we make here? Movies? Yes. How did you know? Wow! It's amazing! What's in these buildings? They're awfully large. Each of these buildings has a different movie being made inside. But our movie is being made on the moon. On the moon? How are we supposed to get there? Well, a set that looks like the moon. I've always wanted to go to the moon. Me too. Feel free to have a look around. And when you're ready, come over to the moon set and we'll start filming. We'll be there practicing our acting. My brave space explorers, are you ready to save the day? Yes, yes! Well, listen closely. The moon is being attacked by naughty carrots falling from the sky. Oh dear, that's not good. What should we do? Fortunately, you're here to help trap them by catching them in these nets. And you need to catch them all as fast as you can. You can count on us. Well, we actually only need two of you. Any volunteers? Me, me, me! Perfect! Here are your nets. Use them to catch the carrots. When you see carrots, move to where they're falling. Then catch them with the net. You can do this! Are you ready? Yes! yes. Then let's save the moon! Lights, camera, action! doing it! Good job! Keep catching those carrots! There's so many carrots! You can do it! We believe in you! <laughs> We're so close! Keep going! Oh, there are too many carrots! Oh no! What are we going to do? This is a super space disaster! Everyone remain calm. Hash Brown, any ideas? Um... I hear you got a carrot problem. Miss Rabbit? Oh, that's my idea! To call Miss Rabbit! Can you help us defeat the naughty carrots? I eat naughty carrots for breakfast. And so do I. Mademoiselle Lapin. At your service. Miss Rabbit, can you help me eat up all these carrots? Why, of course. With two hungry rabbits on the case, we'll have these carrots eaten up in no time. Fantastic. Are you ready, Miss Rabbit? I'm ready, Miss Rabbit. Then, bon appétit. All gone. Mm. I'm still hungry. Do you have any more? Miss Rabbits, you saved the day. Oh, it was nothing. All in a day's work. And you saved the day, too. We all saved the day. Well, thank you all for your help. It's been a pleasure to have you in our movie. And I loved seeing a real-life movie set. Can I take a photo, please? As a souvenir? Of course! Now we're really movie 
three stars. <laughs> well, hope you had fun at the end of the first Hollywood movie. You'll be famous celebrities in no time. What a fantastic trip it's been. You're back. Oh, 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 good to see you, Peppa. How was your trip to Hollywood? It was brilliant. We're movie stars now. Are you really? Yes. We saved the day in Super Potato's new film. That sounds like quite an adventure. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. I hear you're a star now. Yes, a big movie star. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Silly, Grandpa. Well, you'll still need to come to school, even if you are a famous movie star. What a fun time we've had traveling around the world. We've seen and learned so much. Hear, hear. And I've had a wonderful time sailing you around the world on my ship. Did you have fun? Yes, yes. Me too. It was amazing. What was your favorite place, Peppa? Um, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! It's been so much fun traveling around the world with Peppa Pig. We've seen and learned so much. I do hope you'll come back and do it again soon. Goodbye.